things are going great. We've just finished a public uh, survey, and uh, that's why we have lots of local people here today because we invited them along. We said thanks very much for um, answering our questions and do you want to be involved with the community? And uh, amazing 60 odd percent of, of people we spoke to on the streets want to see, want to be involved with the community, and of course, development trusts and social capital is what. Um, um, it's about is about empowering local people to, to be the change that they want to see rather than um, relying on the council or the health service or to, to be the ones who have you know whose responsibility it is all the time the community needs to get its its voice back and its uh, its hands and knees dirty again because one of the things one seems to learn is that it's with development trust and things like this it's not like Judy Garland, we'll build it right here, right now, and it'll be on next week. It takes a long time. It, it does take a long time because, as I've been saying to people, we don't make promises. We're not making promises that we have a big budget or that this will change or that that will change. What we're saying is that we're, we're linking what hasn't changed, what hasn't happened, lack of development, with the way that people are, the way that communities have been broken down. And so, actually, if you restore the community naturally out of a community functioning properly, stuff happens. Desires are raised up. Expectations Expectations and and uh, and the sky's the limit, and people get get such a great sense back in their lives of of living in a place that they love. So where do you go from here? We go from here, we've got a local champion programme which we're going to ask the people here to sign up to. Um, we're going to carry on with our um, consultation exercises, whether it's in groups or on the streets or, or however, just, just to um, contact and be, make a connection with as many people as possible so that there are many barriers to, to um, why people don't engage with the community. When you're in a place like Tilbury and Chadwell, it could be low skills levels, uh, low self-esteem levels, high... Um, mortality rates, all those kind of things, which, um, which when they come together actually break down community. And so th there needs to be some training, there needs to see, be some self-reflection on where people can contribute, because if you spoke to most people in the street they just feel that they can't do anything, maybe they've, they've wanted to speak up about a local, bad local decision and, and have been shouted down, for example, and we want to give them that voice back, so that actually they think, I can change the world, that's what it's about. Community events been a good event. You can see a lot of people are there. I mean, my contribution. I've been asked to come and facilitate a group about local um, decision making, and I actually um, spoke with the group and see how do they feel that they influence actually influence local decision making. For example, the council and also like PCT, um, you know, primary care trust, and how do they feel like they make you know they they, they influence in decision making, and actually some people. People do say that sometimes um, they feel like the decision has been made and people are not allowed to really input. But we are trying to say people do really need to get to be in touch to 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 participate in a lot of things that's happening. When um, people needed to be consulted, they should really be willing to participate so that their, their, their opinions can be taken back to the council so that it would help them to form the decision at least to know that this is what the people want in this area and we're listening to them. Them, but it's, it's down also down to the people to actually come in and participate. I think one community um, partnership is a very good opportunity for everybody to come together and they can actually be like independent body taking um, issues from you know from the grassroots, from underground to pass on to to the authorities, be it the local council. Key thing is is change taking place and public partners, the council, the police, local care trusts and so on, are delivering services, but not always delivering exactly the services that are needed by local people, not always delivering to the standards that local people are after, and often there are things that fall down the cracks. And that's the connection with what Steve Clare said right at the very beginning.